There are uh, two ways to make char cloth. Uh, one of them, I've had this log sitting here all night and I don't think it's going to work. I'll do this real quick. It's starting to burn. But See that smoke? One of the ways is to have a log like this that's all ashes. It's really hot. You want to take uh, material, cloth, anything like that. And the process is that once it's charred, it's going to be easier to get a spark on it and to start a fire with it in the future. One of the neatest things I found recently, I found uh, some of the stuff and marks that I had kept, and there was a little box that uh, Mitch, uh, his uh, name was Young Hawk or something like that, that uh, he made it for Mark, and it was etched, and it was a gift. It was gifted to him, and I thought, you know, they're both gone. This is such a neat little piece of a memento of them both. But uh, so, what you want to do is you want to have something like this. See that char cloth? I'm trying to get the oxygen away from it, and I bundled it real tightly together, real thick, to where it's going to burn but it's not going to actually burn. It's going to just char itself into charcoal. That's the same as what charcoal is that you use today. Uh, another method for doing this the quicker way is if you have a small tin, like an Altoids tin or something, fill it up with material as tightly as you can and have a couple holes poked in it where when you put it in the fire, it'll heat up real hot. But it will not burn because there's not enough oxygen. It'll just form charcoal the same way coal is made. Coal, coal is the same thing. And you get wood that was compressed under heat and it just carbonized. So a carbonization process is what you want. So you leave it in there until it starts smoking like this. And when it's done smoking, uh, those little holes, you know that it's char cloth. Uh, this is the older way of making it. This is how they did it before they had Altoid cans. Uh, get a nice hot all-nighter like this. Let it burn down to ashes to where you can cut off the oxygen and let it burn. And put that underneath it. And when it's done, you want to have something that you can get it out of there real quick. Pop this off and put it in before it starts actually igniting. And this is, this is one of the ways that if you had... Okay, let's say you're in a very wet environment or you had to travel between a couple different places and you wanted to have a fire in between. You could use your steel and flint or magnesium and get that spark and then add, get it on that char cloth and get that char cloth to build that ember up and then put your kindling on it and your larger pieces of wood and build on that.